Ascent Bridge Solution Inc. presents the Innovia DMU Viewer. This is a tool to open the models generated in Kitia V5 and review the native V5 information embedded inside the part and assembly files like 3D dimensions, tolerances, annotations, journal notes, manufacturing and material specs, command pages, etc. All this critical information will be lost if Kitia V5 files are translated and opened with any other CAD software. This is a very cost-effective solution to open your customer's V5 data without losing any important details for reviewing, planning, coating, and finally manufacturing the products. Just to remind you, this is only a viewing tool, so you cannot edit or create anything in Enovia DMU Viewer. Also, it will not be possible to save the V5 part into any neutral format like STEP or IGIS and open it in any other CAD software. You will need a full functional Katia seat to perform these tasks. We have developed this presentation to show six primary tasks which any supplier has to perform on the Katia V5 data received from their respective customers, starting how to open and view the part files, exploring the part tree for material specs, reviewing the 3D functional tolerancing and dimensions, take 3D measurements on pre-released parts for preliminary estimation and quotations, capturing screenshots of the dimensional information displayed on the screen, printing the various views of parts and assemblies with dimensions either on paper or in a PDF format for distributing to internal departments. Now we will show you the live demonstration of the software and how all these tasks can be performed. To start with, we will open the Innovia DMU Viewer. To review the Kitia V5 part, you first have to open a new product and then insert the part into this new product from the existing directory. See, the part is now opened. Now, to explore for the required information, the part tree is expanded by clicking on this plus symbol in the tree. If there is any material icon, right click to view the properties. Under the analysis tab, you will find all the required material properties like Young Modulus, Density, Thermal Properties and others. Now close this dialog box. Next. Look for Annotation Set. Generally, this is the last node of the part tree. Right click and select Show. All the 3D dimensions and tolerancing information will be stored here. You can see most of the required dimensions, tolerance, annotation and notes. If you further expand the Annotation Set, you can select all the datums and these will be highlighted on the part. Similarly, you can select geometrical tolerances or 3D dimensions or any other items. Most of the times, in the final released parts, you will see some captures are created by the designers. These captures are the various views showing the orthogonal projections, sections or details with functional dimensions only for that particular view. This makes the whole review process much easier. Like in this example, if we double click, this capture will show us the auxiliary view where the motor adapter fits. Or this high speed shaft capture takes us to the front view with only few required dimensions seen in this view. Next, if you would like to take the screenshot of this view, Go to the Tools drop-down menu, Image, Capture. The Screen Capturing Toolbar is shown. Select the Screen Mode, 
pick selection command, drag the required window for our image, hit record button. The image is captured and now you can save this image in any of these multiple formats. Let's pick JPEG for this example. Type file name and save. Close the capture window, close this toolbar. Open the saved image file from the directory and you can see that all the dimensions and other information are visible in this image. You can use this image for internal reference or documentation. Next, we will see how some measurements can be taken on the spot. Hide the annotation set as if no 3D functional dimensions and tolerance are created. To check some measurements for this face, change the workbench to DMU Navigator. Now you get these three measuring tools. Let's select this caliper icon for measuring item and select this arc. The radius is shown. You can drag this value and position it in a proper spot. Now let's select this measure between icon and select this planar face and pick the opposite face on the other side. The distance dimension is shown. You can drag the dimension line or the value to the right place if needed and select OK. You can see that both the dimensions are created on the spot which will be used later. Next is measure inertia. Select the command and select the part in the tree. The measure inertia window pops up. You can see the density of the material is populated and the proper mass is computed based on it. Now, if you want the volume or surface area of the spot to estimate the plating, powder coating or painting, select the measure item again, select the part in the tree. The volume and surface area is computed which can be used for costing purposes. Next is printing the views from the screen as drawings either on a paper or in the electronic format like PDF. To do that, go to File, Print. Change the printer option to PDF Writer. In the Print Area option, pick Selection and click on this box. Drag and select the print area on the screen. Hit OK. Define the file name, create PDF and the PDF is being created. Here you can see the PDF document generated showing all the dimensions on the part as required. In the last, we will see how an assembly with 3D functional tolerancing and annotations created in Kitia V5 looks like when opened with Anovia DMU Viewer. For this, open an existing product file and you can see all the assembly dimensions and other details under the annotation sets and various sub-items. This brings us to the end of this presentation. We hope most of your questions and queries are answered in this demonstration. For any further queries or buying this product, please feel free to call us at Ascent Bridge Solutions. Thank you.